Gina and Mike, you folks did a 1031 exchange. You're in the process of finishing it, right? You are out there in Sacramento, California, the home of the communist Wokies, right? So you're like, man, screw this noise. We can't own property in California anymore. It's terrible. And I would agree with you. It is terrible. So you're doing a 1031 and you're trying to uh, rescue your money from the dirty, filthy, communistic grips of those evil, horrible California politicians. Good for you. And you want to do two things with this 1031. Number one, you want to, of course, get out of Get it away from the filthy hands of the communists. But number two, you want to spread your money uh, and earn as much rental income as humanly possible. And I got something for you. How about a duplex that if you finance, it's only going to require $20,000. The ROI numbers on this potential duplex are crazy good. I think we're actually going to be in a bidding war. Uh, so let's talk about the property, bidding strategy, the market, my team managing it. Let's talk about the whole nine right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. All right, folks. Now, this one. I love this one, and I'm not trying to, like, uh, put the screws to you. Uh, about moving quickly, like, oh, buy, buy, buy now or it's never going to be available kind of deal, right? Uh, shit. Uh, earlier in 2022, we had enough of that, right? We're finally coming out of that uh, with the interest rates rising. It kind of slowed the market a little bit, which was nice. Uh, so it's not like this insane, like 50 freaking buyers trying to buy every, uh, property anymore. We get a little breathing room, but straight up, we're not going to have breathing room on this one because they underpriced this thing. Honestly, uh, the price is 79.9. The address is 321 West 8th. It's Lorraine, Ohio. All right. And I love Lorraine, Ohio. Right. Let's talk market first before we even get into the property. It's in the Cleveland market. The Cleveland market, very, very popular for cash flow investors. Right. People are coming from all over the world to invest in Cleveland because it's one of the best cash flow markets. Right. Rental property markets. Having said that, you're typically right now in 2022 with the still insanely high cost of housing. Right. Uh, everywhere in America. Housing is definitely way up, but it's starting to come down. Right. Because of those uh, increased interest rates. Right. Uh, Cleveland, even though it's a very cheap market, still saw prices go up. But now they're coming down a little bit, but they ain't coming down this much, man. Uh, right now, I would anticipate under normal circumstances, you should probably have to pay at least 100 for this. Uh, but the agent and the seller, they listed it at seventy nine nine. So we're probably going to be in a bidding war. Uh, I'd say let's make our initial offer at 80. But if they come back saying they have multiple offers, you should be prepared to go above list price to take it down because this is a sweet location, right? Not a lot of people who've heard about the Cleveland market have heard about the actual city of Lorraine. Everybody that's heard about the Cleveland market just thinks the whole market is Cleveland. Cleveland is one city in a greater metropolitan area. We're dealing with like a population of four to five million people in the area. Holton Wise runs our investment portfolio. Four to five million people. Right. And they're scattered through cities like Cleveland, like Lorraine, like Garfield Heights, like Parma, like others. Right. Only about three hundred fifty thousand of those four and a half million or so people live in the city of Cleveland. Right. So uh, a lot of people don't hear about things like Lorraine on the national scale. Everybody just hears about Cleveland, uh, which is. Very nice, actually, because you're able to like really score some better deals if you have an address that's in a, a city that's not actually Cleveland. Plus, Lorraine specifically is actually a lot more landlord friendly than the city of Cleveland. You don't have all those pesky lead certification laws that they just uh, started doing in Cleveland. More info on that's in the notes. If you're going to invest in this market, I would imagine eventually you'll buy a house in Cleveland. So you need to know about those lead certification laws. They will not apply here, but they will apply to your Cleveland property. So check those out. Uh, in the notes below. It actually is a half hour long video. They're pretty complicated. It took me a half hour to explain to you how the process works. So don't spend money in this market until you know that process because it's going to factor big into your Cleveland investments, but it will not affect you here 
Uh, so this is just a nice, sweet little deal, right? And we have two legacy tenants, long-term tenants on month-to-month -month leases. Dude, they're paying five fifty and five seventy-five, but that is super, super low, right? Let's look at this market rent, eight hundred a pop, so sixteen hundred, nineteen thousand two hundred. Uh, fixed and variable expense estimates. My team will do all the management for you once we get this up to market. I would anticipate it makes you an average of about ten grand a year. If you are lucky enough to take it down at 80K, you only put down 20, 20 freaking grand. Bank kicks in 60. If we got those tenants up to market before they moved out or didn't have to turn the units, dude, we're looking at like a 32% ROI. That's what I'm talking about. The thing is sweet. Uh, it should normally be like listed for like 100K. I don't know. If the listing agent knows what's going on as we cruise through these photos, take a look. I don't know if the listing agent and the seller knows that they made a mistake and they're trying to get a bidding war, uh, or maybe they're just not that versed into what these properties should cost, right? Both units seem pretty decent. So getting the tenants' rents up uh, shouldn't be an issue, dude. Like, Everywhere in the U.S., there's just not a lot of housing for people. So getting them up to market shouldn't be a problem. Uh, maybe we don't want to go from their existing rents all the way to eight in one year, right? Because if we can keep them from moving out and having to turn it, we'll save you several thousand dollars in turnover costs. Uh, so the idea would be to get them up to market without an additional turnover. So maybe we like split that in half and try to get them to that eventual market rate over two years. You'll make more money. But anyway, you slice it. If you get the opportunity to pick this thing up at 80, it is a home run among home runs. At Holton Wise, we help people achieve financial freedom through passive real estate investments. We provide a complete set of turnkey real estate services, including property acquisition, property management, home renovation and much more. But most importantly, at Holton Wise it's all about our people first culture. We put people over profits. Simply put, at Holton Wise, we care. I like working at Holton Wise because it's really for the people and the culture. When I'm here, I feel like I can work as myself. I run Holton Wise like an open book. If anybody has any questions about what we do or how we do it, we got nothing to hide here at Holton Wise. We do what we say we're going to do, and then we do it. This place is really for the community. We buy houses, sell houses, we rent houses, we do it all. My leadership style at Holton Wise, it's all about leading by example. I want to show people that even in a stressful business like real estate investment, we always need to keep our cool and act professional. I love working with James and in my position, I get to work with James one-on-one -on -one every single day. James is a people pleaser, he's a people person, he's a real philanthropist. They don't tear you down at Holton Wise, it's all about building people up. What the are you two lazy pieces of doing in here, huh? Always, always, always just sitting on your <laughs> never doing any work. Do you want me to <laughs> place you girls in the <laughs> robot? Is that what you want? You want me to <laughs> place you in robots, John? Huh? You want me to place you in robot? Even in my position, it can be very stressful dealing with tenants. That's why James always makes sure that my head is in a great place. When making mistakes at Holton Wise, they don't get angry, they don't get mad, they don't yell at you. They just give you a gentle nudge in the right direction. It's the professionalism. You know, nothing too crazy happens at the office. Everything's pretty low key. From the moment I started working with Holton Wise, it was clear to me that I wasn't just another customer. I was like family. I think good leaders ask, how can we increase the bottom line? How can we increase profitability? But here, I want to be a great leader. And what great leaders ask is, how can I serve my employees, my customers, my people, the community? So anyway, you slice it. The deal itself 
is awesome. It's not like, duh, is it a good deal to pick this up at 80? That's not really the question here, right? The question is, are we going to get lucky enough for you to be able to win out and pick it up at 80? Again, I think we make the offer at 80. Maybe we get lucky and the seller's like, yeah, sure, sweet. Uh, if they come back, though, and they're like, hey, we got multiple offers. I think you should be prepared uh, to pay, you know, five, ten, maybe fifteen thousand dollars over list price to take it down because any way you slice it, I think this particular property is going to work for you. And then, of course, as you know, we're going to do it all here at Holton Wise for you: the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance, the whole thing. Right? We'll get those tenants on new leases. We'll increase that rent if for some reason one of them moves out. We'll be able to renovate the units. Right? Everything is 100% passive on your end. We take care of all the legwork, allowing you to get into markets like this and then find sneaky little cities in those markets that had even better deals than the ones you're finding on like Zillow, Realtor.com, et cetera, et cetera, right? So the only thing to do now is for you to let me know how much you want to offer, if you want to pay cash or if you want to finance it. Uh, I broke it all down for you. Uh, financing, I don't think financing is going to be an issue, but if you're afraid of the multiple offer situation and you want to possibly make your offer seem even more attractive in a potential bidding war, uh, might not be a bad idea to pay cash and then we refinance it out later. It's up to you. Ball's in your court. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.